on year 10 today we're looking at reverse mean problems so these are similar to what we looked at before with reverse percentage problems where we saw a price after a percentage increase or decrease and we had to find what that was before so in this problem we're given length of leaves in the sun and in the shade again we're given information about the mean length of the leaves in the shade and the mean length of the leaves in the sun and how many leaves are in each category what we want to know though is what the mean length of all the leaves are so if we remind ourselves, the mean is obviously the total divided by the number of entries. Unfortunately, we don't know the total of that in the shade or in the sun, so we're going to need to work backwards to find this out. So let's start with that in the shade. If mean is equal to total over number of entries, we're going to take information from the question. We know the mean length of the leaves growing in the shade is 20 centimetres, so instead of mean, I'm just going to put 20 I don't know the total of that in my shade yet, so I'm just going to put total up here. But I do know that there are five leaves growing in the shade, so this is over five. We can see here we can rearrange this to find the total. So if I multiply both sides by five, I get 100 as my total. And we're going to do a similar thing with that in the sun. So if you pause the video now and have a go at finding the total of that in the sun from this information, we'll then go back, find this, and then find the mean altogether. Okay, so if we're doing the mean length of the sum, we have 35, and that is equal to the total over 10, because that's our number of entries. If we multiply both sides by 10, we get 350 as our total in the sum. So now we know the total in the shade and in the sun, we can find all together, because we know that the total all together is going to be 100 plus 350. The number of entries is going to be 5 entries from the shade and 10 entries from the sun, so I have 10 plus 5, plus 5 as 15. So my mean is going to be 450 over 15. So therefore my mean is going to be 30 centimetres. So this problem can work in any context as long as we can work backwards to find the total overall we can find the mean altogether.